So, so if if we were back there at that time, what what sort of Homo or ape or what sort of animal would we see or human? So you know, I, I often, as you <laughs> might imagine, sit and try and, and see mm. Homo naledi. You know, what would it, what would it look like if you if you encountered them? Um, firstly, you know, at a distance, because we only have a mirror of one bipedal ape to look at ourselves living mm -hmm. at this particular time, you'd probably think if you saw a group of them on the horizon in Africa, it was a group of humans. But small, yeah, though. Yeah, a little bit. Mm. You know, I mean, some of them are close to 1.5 meters, so it's okay. not that small. Mm -hmm. You had plenty of humans are, are that high. As they got closer, though, you'd very quickly realize that that's not a human coming mm -hmm. at you. You would see this, this, this skinny but powerful bodies. You would see these narrow shoulders. We're used to seeing humans with these broad shoulders, which we have for running and, and, and long-distance walking, the way we breathe. This would have a very narrow, ape-like shoulder, and that would look strange. Mm. But what would strike you probably most, even, though, even beyond the sort of curved hands that you would see, would be this tiny, sort of almost pin-like head. <laughs> you know, it, Homo naledi has a brain the size of a largest orange. Mm, right. You know, something like a third to a quarter the size of a human brain. But it's put on a relatively tallish body, 1.5 meters. So you would look at this and go, that's, that's not human. Now, how would they behave when they saw us? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I bet they'd probably be pretty scary to encounter <laughs> if you were alone mm -hmm. uh, and weren't with another group of, of, of humans. So, so other than that, though, we know almost nothing about them. Homo naledi is perhaps one of the best-known hominids ever discovered because we have so much. 15 individuals, thousands of remains, every part of the body practically uh, in multiple individuals, yet we have this singular context. So we don't know what they're doing out in the world at this stage. We will in the future. Mm -hmm. We'll find them now that we know they exist. But until that moment, they were invisible to us.